Here I have an 1895 Winchester. This one is shooting a 405 Winchester. Big old bullet. It's longer than a 4570. Um, it shoots a 41 caliber bullet. These came from. So I bought the ammo from Hendershot. This came nicely packaged and very professional. Highly recommend them. Hendershot Sporting Goods. Um, I don't think they have a lot available on hand, but um, I was able to get custom loaded 405 Winchester. Again, it's a 300 grain hard cast lead bullet with a gas check hitting 2100 feet per second. So I'll put a smack down on something. Again, that's the, the toughest part. This ammo was extremely, because of the type of ammo, not because of the place, but just because of the rarity of it, this ammo was quite expensive. We're talking a big bill or two to get uh, 40 rounds of it. This is the 20 round box here. So anyway, just keep that in mind. You're probably off, better off getting the 30 odd six ammo if you're interested. There are 300 grains going 2100 feet per second. So while it is longer than a 45.7, I'm guessing it's quite comparable in power when I look at the muzzle energy of both of them. I could have got this in 30 odd six and saved me some trouble. I've been seeing these out there in 30 odd six actually in a few sporting good stores or you know or gun stores would be a better way to put it. I chose the 405 Winchester because I felt like it had more historical clout as everybody that's been interested in these guns know that Theodore Roosevelt uh, made it popular in his hunts in Africa, called it Big Medicine for Lions. Anyway, it's uh, got an internal magazine and I'm just getting to know the gun. I've uh, found it to be very accurate in the first shot. Recoil's not any worse or, or better than a 4570. Uh, my understanding is that these guns are made in Japan. Uh, some of the higher end Browning guns are made in the same factory, but it definitely has a Winchester sticker on it anyway. So again, the ammo is the biggest issue if you decide to go with a 405 Winchester. I probably could have been just as happy with a 30 6 but, you know, the ammo is cheaper and it's going to be everywhere. But I just felt like with this particular rifle, I should get it in 405 Winchester. Well, let me send a round down range. Um, so I'm loading up two rounds. Just trying to learn this gun. And uh, let's give it another shot. Well, you can see it's an upward back uh, ejection. Obviously, it has a two way stop. Pretty cool gun. I'm really going to like it. Let's go take a look. All right, so here's the three round group with iron sights at over 30 yards. And uh, well, it's got a little bit of work ahead of me, but. You can see two rounds were pretty close and one was and I, I was kind of aiming at those numbers loosely anyway um, got some more work to definitely do with this rifle but it is a joy to shoot joy to own I look forward to getting to know it better one of the things for sure and it's really beautiful I don't see myself trying to get any kind of scope or anything on it I'm gonna just try to keep working with those iron sides and learning them all right take care